I want to bring in David Barnson. He's the CIO, the Chief Information Officer of the Barnson Group and author of the book, The Crisis of Responsibility. Okay, you say that profit season, that's all about the future, all about 2019, looking good, I take it? Make your case. Yeah, I think that uh, you always have a sense in which guidance during an earnings season, the guidance into future results is the kind of leading uh, uh, catalyst of what's going to drive stock performance. But I think that is more true this particular quarter than even past. And the reason for that is the expectations that we were going to have solid earnings numbers were well baked in and they were very well known. I mean, there was kind of uh, clarity around how well corporate America has been performing. The question mark is really into the future. When the tax reform stimulus sort of rubs off the initial bump that those companies got in 2018, where do things go into 2019? And when companies are guiding upward, they're surprising analysts with how they're revising their own projections for this coming year, mm. knowing that there is some degree of question around the credit markets with the Federal Reserve, some degree of ambiguity around the outcome of the trade war, and yet they're still projecting forward. The market loves that. 2019 guidance is the key catalyst. Okay, uh, I'm looking at Procter & Gamble. It's on our screen right now, yeah. P&G. I, I think you liked it uh, because it pays a, a good dividend. Is that right? Uh, that's a little bit too simple for us, Stuart, so let me just elaborate a little bit. I love the company because it's one of the most well-run companies in the country. They've grown the dividend now for 63 years in a row, but we don't love it because they grow the dividend. They grow the dividend because it's a fantastic company. That's the whole point, is that the dividend growth indicates the excellence of the company. It doesn't create the excellence of the company. Okay. Now, look at you brought up Colgate Palmolive a moment ago. Look at their disappointment and their results and contrast it to a very significant competitor in Procter Gamble two days ago. Colgate, when I looked earlier this morning, was down 2%. Procter Gamble jumped 45 But Procter Gamble right now is up 35% from its point about seven, eight months ago, in the middle of 2018, there was a lot of questions as to how that sector was doing. They continue to execute, they continue to increase their margins, and they're growing organically. What's not to love? Yeah, what's not to love? <laughs> Good one, David. Mr. Barnson, as always, thank you very much indeed.